as promised, we'll now move into the update on the activities of Vermont Resources with a special focus on the major discovery for double eagle nickel find in the James Bay lowlands. Vermont has prepared for us this week a video, very current, which we will review. And then after the video, with no other further introductions, Mike White, Vice President of IDK Capital, will come to the podium and from a stock market point of view, we'll also update all of you in terms of the uh, Vermont resource opportunity. Uh, as, a, as a comment, IBK is delighted to be on the Naran team. We're a financial advisor to Naran, along with J.D. Morgan Securities, Inc. And uh, over the last 14 months, IBK Capital has raised $61 million for Naran by way of private placements of equity, which will increase to $77 million uh, next week with the exercise of the accelerated warrants which were attached to the financing uh, to uh, about a month ago now. So Iran has already 77 million on the strength of this uh, discovery. Uh, Iran is undervalued at current stock prices and we hope that by updating you, you'll go away with a very clear understanding as to why we feel that way. The ring of fire as a overall mining camp now involves just over 20 junior mining companies. Most of you are present, and uh, the camp is, of course, physically three times the size of Sudbury, and of course contains currently over several hundred geophysical targets or anomalies, many of which uh, will be drilled uh, over the next five years. So without any further delay, I would ask that the people finishing the electronic equipment please roll the video. Uh, Norant Resources. Uh, we have projects in China, option to uh, Canadian companies. We have projects in Hungary. We have projects in Mexico. There are three exceptional projects, well advanced projects, among all the other projects. Those three are a tungsten project in New Brunswick, we have a project in Quebec, a gold project, where we've come up with, we think, and the board thinks, probably the finest diamond drill hole ever drilled in, in Canada for gold. Almost 16 feet of 52 ounces to the ton in gold. The third project, and the, mo the one that's caught the public's attention and made us the talk of Bay Street, is our Double Eagle project. This new discovery is, again, we think, the highest exploration hole ever drilled in Canada. Six months ago was an anomaly, geophysical anomaly, a little blip on a map. Uh, you know, convinced our management to go in there and drill a, a test hole into it. Uh, we came up with the first hole was into massive sulfides, uh, nickel bearing massive sulfides. Uh, the, you know, a few holes later, we got probably one of the highest grade nickel holes recorded in Canadian history. This nickel occurrence also had platinum group elements in it, Plat rhodium, platinum, palladium, all the other PGEs we call them, uh, they're all in there, making the, the value of this rock extremely high. Target Eagle One was the first target we drilled and, and that uh, in last August, so we spent the, the rest of the year drilling it off. Now we're ready to start moving out on the other targets, which look just as good. And they're very strong uh, airborne geophysical targets, and we're following them up in the ground with geophysics, and ultimately we'll be drilling them with drill holes. Eagle One is a project that we had on our radar screens for at least four or five years. Uh, in the early days, um, there was some geophysical data, airborne geophysical data that was done by uh, Spider Resources and KWG and put out by the government of Ontario. On that geophysical uh, survey, I noticed a couple of very good looking targets. So I made a commitment that we would drill a minimum of one hole. We budgeted around $400,000, went in and drilled the first hole, and we got lucky.
The head of the whole group is Dick Nemus, our president. He's a lawyer by trade uh, and uh, has kept the whole Norwant company alive um, through many, many years of good times and bad times. John Harvey was uh, ex-president uh, of uh, Norand Explorations. He's retired from that and he came on to us as a consultant to the board, uh, giving us some guidance once we got into Eagle One and we dropped it on his lap and said, what do we got here, John? Uh, you're, you know, you're a big company man. Tell us how we have to explore this. So he's our guiding light out there uh, on technical matters. Myself, uh, I'm an explorationist. I love to explore. I've been up in the James Bay Lowlands since uh, I think 1992 popping around in the swamps up there and uh, know the area extremely well. Done a lot of work with the First Nations, trying to keep them you know, involved with the project, keep them do the communication process that we have to do now. Uh, we're about the environment, but I'm the project manager. The other fellow in the back office is David Graham. He's another geologist. He kind of keeps us on track with uh, you know, get, getting the geophysical maps down to us, get them in the right shape so we can deal with them, get them back to the field so that they're uh, able for the geologists in the field to uh, deal with them. Um, we're making decisions all the time, so it's a combination of John, myself, and David Graham working together, uh, making these decisions, where to drill next. Uh, the other member of our team is a consultant. He's an uh, associate professor at the University of Toronto, uh, Dr. Jim Mungle. He's one of the world-recognized experts in magmatic mass sulfides. We're being watched very closely by a lot of the major companies. Uh, many of them have already approached us, They're trying to get joint venture with us on this project. They like it, they like what they see, they like the grades. Part of what we our strategy is to invite other explorers into the area, allow them to share the cost and uh, hopefully get the rewards out of it. Uh, we can't, uh, Norwant, if we were to explore the entire area would cost us many millions of dollars. We'd have to go to the market many times to raise sufficient money to do that. What we've done is we've invited people in to spend their money. They're raising money on their own to enter into the exploration program up there. In summary, Narond is a very exciting company with a, an outstanding and very significant new nickel copper deposit, one of the best uh, in recent uh, memory. We have a portfolio of properties, three of which we consider advanced pro projects. Two are already going underground. Our strategy of optioning our land position, since it's such a large land position, is going to pay off uh, with millions upon millions of dollars being spent on our ground. Our financial position is great at the moment. We have sufficient funds to do what we say we're going to do, and hopefully we can uh, maximize shareholders' value as a result of that. I think with those that are in this company, the directors, the officers, the consultants that we have, as a team, I couldn't put anything better together than the team we now have. Yeah, Noron is uh, such an exciting company. It's really building. You can feel it in the air here. You can feel it with all of the people in here. We're excited about this. This could be the granddaddy of them all.